And welcome back to part two of this video, guys. Here is a rarely seen specimen of mine because we hardly ever see it out. Usually, when you disturb its enclosure, it makes it run for its hide. And definitely, by the time you get it off the shelf, it's on and onto your feeding slash filming table. It's long gone. We rarely ever get a view of. We hope to get a feeding glimpse of. This is one of my favorite tarantulas. I'm definitely going to be keeping around for a while because of some of its attributes. Right now it's a bit skittish, but hopefully as it gets to an adult, it's complete opposite. This is my Grandma Sola Pulchra, the Brazilian black. I'm gonna drop a roach in. Let's hope we can get some action because we never get to see this wind feed on camera, let alone see it on camera. And it missed the prey. And it's got it now. We're not going to be able to see that part of it. But you saw it locked in on that roach. And that was all for that roach. So there we go. That was my grandma Stola Polka. The Brazilian black. Which I hope later on when it gets to be an adult will be an ambassador for me. One of those I can pull it out and handle it and let other people handle it. And show everybody that. You know, these guys aren't all bloodthirsty creatures out to kill you. Let's move on to another one that we've seen on camera recently, but we have not seen eat in a long time. And let's hope she eats for us. Alright guys, here we go. This is a tarantula we've seen lately, but we have not seen feed in a long time. She just recently molted. Let's see if she is hungry. Oh yes, without a doubt, she is very hungry and very, very, very beautiful. By the way, if you don't know, this is my female Brachypelma erratum, the Mexican flame knee. Her name is Ruby. She's my most, my most valuable at this point tarantula that I have besides Phoebe, my female Harpactera pulchropes. Let's see if maybe she's hungry enough for another worm. And it appears as though she is. It's been several months. I would say three, four months since she last ate. And then she molted at this point eight days ago. And she is gorging her face. And we're getting a really great, beautiful look at her here. Um, there's one other tarantula I've got to do video on, but that's going to be a completely separate video. It's actually going to kind of be a keeper's notes type of video on something that not a lot of people have right now. And there's not a whole lot out there as far as like video, YouTube and everything. It's known about the care of them. Since I'm one of the few that has one, I'm going to do a highlight video on this tarantula and hopefully feed it and get to see it and then just kind of give my experience with it so far and how everything goes and what the keeping is like so that I can contribute to the knowledge of the keeping of these guys but of course there you go guys this is one that is pretty hard to find but if you can find one you've got to jump on it I paid probably two hundred dollars for this gal and um, she's just gorgeous I love her to death She's one of those that I hope to maybe um, feature in a breeding project a little bit later on. I really love my Brachypelm genus so far. Um, I've only got like three species, I believe, so far. Hamori, Oratum, and Albiceps. But I love them. They are gorgeous. They are, in my opinion, some of the most gorgeous uh, New World genus slash species out there. But there you go, guys. That was basically part two of this video with a very good feeding video of my very gorgeous girl, Ruby, to finish out the rest of it. So I really hope you enjoyed both parts of this video. Get ready because I'm about to do another feeding video with one with a tarantula people don't see much. And I'm hopefully going to give you guys a little bit more of a look at it and we can kind of figure out together. Had to keep this thing. She's having trouble with that one damn mealworm. Poor little girl. 
In her defense, she hasn't eaten in probably four months, so she forgot how to grab them and pick them up. But there she goes. I think she got it that time. I think so. Come on, girl. Give us a good fangy smile before we go. There you go, guys. There's Ruby. The most valuable tarantula I have besides Phoebe. And I guess at that point, my second favorite behind Phoebe. Although I love all my tarantulas. There she is. Isn't she beautiful? Okay. i got to go get, get ready to feed this other tarantula. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up and a comment. If you didn't, just give me a thumbs down. Let me know why you didn't enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed to me, please do that. If you haven't shared this video, but you think somebody might like it, please do that. I'm not going to get any more cliche than that. Take care of yourselves and each other, guys. I hope you have a great night. God bless, y'all.